My name is Tom Tersuch, uh, and I'm the 10th person to walk around the world. Uh, I've walked 28,000 miles over six continents and 38 different countries over the past seven years. That sounds cool, right? <laughs> I had a friend when I was 17, she was 16, uh, a friend who passed away. And when she passed away, it was really formative for me. I'd never been close to someone who died. And when she died, I realized that I could die at any moment and that it was gonna happen inevitably. And so when I integrated that into my life and I thought about what do I want out of life, uh, I knew I wanted to travel and I wanted adventure and I wanted to understand the world. And I discovered these two guys who had walked around the world before, uh, Carl Bushby and Steve Newman. And for whatever reason, the idea of walking around the world just stuck in my head. It sort of solved all the problems of how to let, get the most out of life. And, and then it was eight years of saving money and going to school and paying off loans and then eventually getting a sponsor. And I was able to begin the walk the day before I turned 26. And uh, it's been, seven years since. I, I would not be able to recognize like my past self to who I am now and you know it happens so subtly that you don't really notice it as it's happening but I think just the the exposure to all these different cultures and all these different manners of living and different systems of governance and, and different climates and, and terrain. Uh, but then also just from walking in itself, it's so meditative. And I'm, I've spent so much time with myself and just with my thoughts that I know myself really well in a way that I never would have before. And when you're walking, you're just sort of Constantly in the background, you're picking up memories and putting them down, and then you look at them a different way, and then you consider, oh, like, what are these influences on my life, and then how could I have acted this way? And it's all kind of running in the background. And uh, so, yeah, just that alone has been you know, transformative, of just kind of knowing myself and you know, where I fit in, in the world and, and kind of accepting myself in a certain way. Yeah, through all these years of traveling and, and taking photographs in different places, uh, I, I've learned, I think, I've gotten very good at the fundamentals of photography and to apply those fundamentals to pretty much any situation. And so there's a couple basic things uh, that I, I think you can, if you start applying, you can become a good photographer pretty quickly. And so the talk, the lecture is just going to be about pretty much this very simple principles of photography and how to get better at photography and then uh, and then showing and sharing some photos that I have that demonstrate those and, and the stories behind the photos. I have the Nikon uh, Z7 24-70 and I've sort of learned you know what works for me and for me it's the 24-70 lens is uh, is perfect, it's really versatile, the image quality is great, and I'm not switching out. Um, and and I, I find too, uh, kind of the way I shoot, if I'm, you know, I could be you know, on these planes one day, and there, there's shepherds going by, and then the next day I'm in, in like a, a little village, and then the day after that I'm in a city, and or maybe all in the same day I'm doing that. And so like having the 24 to 70 and not being able to change anything out and being able to just grab the camera out of my bag and quickly take the shot. If I see the shot, I want to be able to take it and not be thinking about, okay, I got to put on the 50 mil or you know, 70 prime if that even exists. Um, and so that's what works for me and I think I'd probably stick with that. And I think the, the image quality from the Zoom is I'm not, like, I'm not publishing these in that geo. I don't need a prime lens where everything is perfect and it's good enough for, for the job. Want to learn more about Thomas as he reflects on his seven-year photographic trek through six continents? 
Come take his class, walk around the world at our 75th anniversary Neat Photo Expo. We'll have classes, special performers, and more. We hope to see you there.